Hello guys and welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to show you how to apply GoPro LUTs uh, to your video. Not only that, but how to adjust them. You may have to change your highlights, uh, some of your exposure. But yeah, this LUT pack um, is for all the GoPros from Hero 8 to Hero 12, which is the current one. Um, here I have the Hero 11, which is what I use to make these LUTs. Um, so yeah, this is the full tutorial on how to um, like unzip the LUTs, how to apply them, and how to adjust them according to your video. Uh, so hope this helps. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to open up your uh, downloads folder. Um, guessing that you have bought my LUT pack, you want to go to your downloads. Uh, there you'll see the GoPro uh, retro LUTs or whatever GoPro LUT that you uh, purchase. This is the one I'm going to use as an example uh, for today. You're going to left click, then you're going to right click, and you're going to go down here to extract all. What this is going to do is un extract the zip file. And the cool thing about LUTs is that they actually do compress very well in a zip file. So when they are unzipped, then they you get the full uh, quality version. And that's the only way you can apply it anyways. Um, so we'll go into here. Now the GoPro LUT um, is available. And you can see here where the um, uh, the LUTs are here. You can't see like a thumbnail of it because uh, Windows doesn't read a cube, doesn't really show an example. But once you plug this into DaVinci Resolve, uh, it does. So we'll get into that. Next, we want to open our DaVinci Resolve application. Okay, and once your DaVinci Resolve application is open, you're going to double click uh, the project that you want to go into. I made a project specifically for this tutorial, uh, just GoPro LUT tutorial. So I'll open that up. Okay, and once you're in here, what we want to do is we want to go to the um, color grading tab. Um, your LUTs won't be open. This is somewhat of what it's going to look like. Let me turn all these off. Uh, should look something like this by default. Um, you're just going to go up here to your top left corner and click on LUTs. Uh, you already have a lot of uh, built-in LUTs by DaVinci Resolve. So we, what we want to do is we just want to click one of these. Let's just go to DJI, for example. Um, click any of these and just go to open file location. This is the way I found out. Then now we're within the DJI um, uh, LUTs that are pre-built into DaVinci Resolve. Now we go back to LUTs and these are all the files. Literally the same thing that we're seeing right here. But we, what we want to do is we want to create our own folder. Um, I've already done that right here. If you don't know how to create a folder, all you do is you left click, press new, add folder, name the folder, whatever you want, right? Okay, so after you're done doing that, let me delete this. You can drag and drop your LUTs right into, uh, right into your folder that you have created. So I'm just going to make another folder within a folder. Say GoPro Retro. Retro LUTs, okay. Go inside that folder. Now we're gonna go back to the other folder that uh, we had in our downloads. And you're just gonna drag and drop these. Uh, left click hold, you can select all of them that way. And then just drop those. Now, you can't see them here yet still because um, you haven't refreshed this. So what we wanna do is right click um, right underneath where all these LUTs are at, uh, some open space right here, just not right here because this will refresh this instead. Go ahead, refresh. Now you can go to the My LUTs, and there we go. Now we have the folder that says GoPro Retro LUTs, and these are the LUTs um, right here. Now let's actually apply this to a video. Okay, so I just opened a folder with some of my GoPro videos. Um, I'm going to... Um, left click hold, get all of them, drop them into the clips uh, media pool. We're going to go to don't change whenever asked to change project frame rate. We're going to do that ourselves um, according to what the videos are. Now these video shots were played in 60 FPS, but if we want a cinematic video, we want to go to 24. Uh, by default, I have it set up as uh, 24 frames per second. We're actually going to go to 23.7 uh, 
or 0.976. Um, this was shot in basically 5K, but we're going to dub it down to 4K. And then we're going to save that. Now let's go to one of these and let's just drop it in, right? So here we go here. Video here of the audio that's being played. Um, honestly, I don't want this audio played because it's just the wind. Just going to go to audio, cut that real quick. And just showcase the video just a tad bit. Now if we go to right click, go to clip attributes, we can actually see what it's playing in. So it's playing in 60 FPS on a 23 FPS timeline. What we want to do, what we want to do is drop the frame rate. So now it drops it down to 24 frames per second. So there we go. So now the video is cutting out some of the frames to make it look like it's was originally played in 24 frames per second. Now this shot wasn't with any ND filter, so I don't really have motion blur. Um, so I actually added motion blur in post. Uh, which is actually a pretty cool thing because it makes the video appear a lot sharper. Um, but I would prefer to use an ND filter. So we're going to go to the color tab again. And now since we have these GoPro LEDs uh, right here, uh, we can see what they look like just by hovering over it, which is really nice. Other softwares don't do that. Um, so that's a really nice uh, feature that DaVinci Resolve has. So let's apply this one and booyah, just clicking it. By clicking it, you already have the color adjustment um, and it adjusts the um, the brightness a little bit depending on how your video is um, played out to be. So let's go to, and this is a way to turn it off and turn it on the um, adjustments that you've done for color grading. Now we want to go to our nodes, and if this doesn't apply too well, which this in this scenario it does, but sometimes you may want the um, brightness to be lower. As you can see, we have blown out highlights, um, and some of the bright white areas are kind of blown out. Whereas in the originally in the original video, it was uh, more subtle. So what we want to do is we want to go to our nodes, right click on your node grade right here, go to add node. And then go to serial before making adjustment before the LUT is more preferred because you're not doing the adjustment on top of the LUT, you're doing it before the LUT, uh, retaining more of that data. So let's go to our first grade and let's go to our highlights. Now we're dropping those highlights and voila, already uh, just by that, I'm already liking the video. So that's probably all it needed. If you go to Control and D on your keyboard, if you're on Windows, you can go and disable the node just to see the grade. And what I'll probably do is up the offset. You can do it on the same grade or you can add another grade. I usually like to add another grade just so I know what I've done. And yeah, let's bring the offset a little bit up. So I'm kind of just bringing more of that light back, but retaining um, those highlight details and voila, there we go. So already I'm liking this um, as part of the retro LUT. So this is just the color grade um, part of it, which is just applying the LUT and adjusting the light according to your video. Now, if you wanna get the retro type LUT um, look, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a few more grades. Now. To do this, you need the studio version of DaVinci Resolve, which is $300 or $299, something around there. And um, there's a little bit of a shortcut to kind of get around that with the free version. Uh, the, glow effect, the glow effect, I'm pretty sure you have to pay the uh, studio version, though. So let's go to um, our next um, effects uh, with this grade or this node here. So... Let's go to our little search bar, and the first thing I'm going to do is go to a Gaussian blur. Oops. Gaussian blur. Okay, let's apply that. Um, as you can see, it's already kind of like outrageous. Let me move this a little bit. Let me close my LUTs as well, too, as we're done with that. Uh, what I like to do is I like to lower this and just add a, a bit of blur. If we zoom in, we can turn this on and off and see what we accomplish bump that up a tad 
because old cameras usually have, um, you know, their um, sensors are not as good as the sensors nowadays. So uh, we want to try to get that retro vintage type of look. We're going to add another serial. This one we're going to actually use a halation. Uh, halation is a defect in old cameras where um, light enters into the lens and it actually captures a lot of the red off of the um, the bright whites um so there we go let's turn this on and off to see our before and after and honestly that already looks good just as it is applied that's a little too much okay we can also stack these two you can move these nodes wherever you want i usually like to stack five on top of each other until i get the next one okay so we have uh, the blur, we have the halation. Next, we're going to add um, film grain. And what I like to do for this, for GoPros in particular, is go to 8 millimeters, 50D, and bump that up all the way. And now we have a really nice looking vintage style of um, video right here. Uh, now in this particular video, I didn't have um, a ND filter, which allows for motion blur when you have a very bright scene uh, adjusting your shutter speed. Um, I had it on auto shutter speed since I don't have ND filter on here. So I'm just going to add motion blur um, to this particular video. I have a pretty good GPU, so I usually put on better, go to large, and then bump this up to about 60. And now we have that cinematic type of style. If I turn it off, you'll see it looks sharp towards the um, edges, and then now it looks blur towards the edges. What I'll also include in this uh, LUT pack is a um, a little bit of an overlay where you can have like this crop type of square um, with the round edges and it makes it look more vintage style like it's coming off of an 8 millimeter film um, so I'll also include that and I'll show you how to do that in this video okay and here is the vintage border uh, black that I also included into this um, retro uh, pack basically what it is is it's just a uh, black um, overlay with the middle being exposed to the uh, video and the rest is covered uh, so what you can do is you can adjust this to how you want whether you want it smaller or bigger but it's really set up um, so it, it's just zoom in is at one but you can go uh, even wider to have um, a wider um, look like that but something uh, small um, that you can apply in your video. What we want to do next is we want to like expand this um, and widen this video. Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm literally trying to showcase the same video um, that was that you saw for the uh, retro look pack. And here it is in full screen. And look at that, that already looks uh, super nice. Some people like the edges of this um, border being black. Um, some people like it blurred. I like it being blurred. Um, but yeah, either or, it looks really nice right here. Just um, with this whole look and making it look vintage. Okay, I want to show you guys how to um, make the border of this less sharp and more of a blur. Now what you can do is you can add a blur to the um, video itself, or the overlay itself. So let's go to our blur, let's add that on. And now you can get, now you get that cinematic uh, type of blur on the edges. We'll go to our video, go to our effects, and we can raise that or lower that to whatever we would like. And a way to apply all of these LUTs together, um, all in a single cl click, 
if you say you have adjusted um, the clips accordingly and they have basically the same type of brightness and highlights and stuff that you have already adjusted, what you can do is you can click the video that's unedited, go to shift on your keyboard, hold shift and left click on your mouse and then um, press the mouse button down the uh, scroll wheel on your mouse um, and that will apply the grade as well. Um, um, the whole grade actually so all of this um, all of the nodes that you have applied and this is how the video turned out Okay, and that wraps it up for this video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed um, the video showcased um, of the what, and hopefully you were able to apply it on your GoPro footage and that you're happy with it. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to uh, my channel. I would uh, very appreciate that. And uh, see you in the next one.